This video demonstrates DocsPop's initial filing process. Our example filing will be a petition for a divorce with children. We will be setting up the service contact for the filer, adding the petitioner and respondent, and filing a summons and petition with an attached exhibit using Sheriff's Service to deliver the documents to the respondent. We begin by clicking on the e-filing tab and then select the File New Case action. After the filing page loads, our first action is to specify the location and the case type. I got to Hamilton quickly from the list of 92 counties by pressing the H key on my keyboard. This is a useful shortcut for any lengthy drop-down menu. The filing attorney is defaulted to the attorney I usually file on behalf of. If I want to change that, clicking on the arrows will bring up a list of all attorneys from my firm. Because of the case type I selected, the page will force me to enter a petitioner and a respondent before I am allowed to enter any other parties. I'll start by entering our client, Stella, who is seeking a divorce from Stanley because he yells too much. Notice that the address is not required but if I start to enter an address, I must make it a complete address. I'll finish the petitioner's entry by specifying her attorney and then clicking on Save and Add Another to keep this window open for the next entry. Now we enter Stanley's information. I'm using the tab key on my keyboard to move through the input fields without having to use the mouse. Hitting the I three times on my keyboard gets me to Indiana quickly in the drop-down menu without having to use the mouse. You will notice a Pro Se option at the bottom of the party entry box. Don't ever choose either Pro Se or an attorney on behalf of another party. You should only use this for yourself or for the party you represent. Since I'm done entering parties, I'll just choose the Save button this time. Notice that the Add Additional Party button became active as soon as we entered all of the required parties for this case. If I wanted to add another party, such as a mediator, I could use that button now to do it. The page has suggested that I want to attach the filing attorney's service contact. To accept that suggestion, I'll click on the Add Service Contact button next to her name. Now it's time to upload the documents. I'll do that using the Choose a File button. You can add documents to a filing by either dragging the documents on top of this button or by just clicking on it to open the computer's file browser. I'll use the second method during this demonstration. First I upload the summons. Notice that I started filling in details while the file was still uploading. The filing party is defaulted to our client, so I don't have to make a choice on that one. Since I want the sheriff to serve this summons, I'll flip the switch next to Sheriff Service. I only need to select this for the summons, even though I'm planning to attach the petition to it as well when I hand them to the sheriff. One fee covers all documents for the case. Now I'll upload the petition and its attached exhibit. Attachments are uploaded in the same window as the document they are attached to, using this button. You've probably noticed a preview pane on the left. This lets you double check to make sure you uploaded the correct documents. There are controls in the preview panel to zoom and scroll. 
If you want to look at one of the attachments instead of the lead, click on the eyeball next to the document you want to view. Now let's pause briefly to look at the envelope summary before submitting it. Lead document descriptions are in bold. Just below the description are the files. The lead is always at the top, followed by any attachments, which are designated by a paperclip. We've got a green check next to each one, indicating that we've got all of the required information entered, so we're ready to submit. The payment account defaults to the one we use most often, and the party paying fees defaults to our client. So all that's left to do is click on the four affirmations that I know what I'm up to, and then click on Submit. The Submission Acknowledgement page gives us a summary of the envelope we just submitted and lists the service contacts. Below that summary are shortcuts to get you started on your next task. You can file another new case. You can review all of your filings in My Electronic Filings. Or you can locate an existing case to make a subsequent filing on. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you have questions that weren't answered by this video, please don't hesitate to contact our friendly support staff for help.